What's going on, everybody? So you saw the title. We're rocking literally the most epic expo deck of all time. Um, basically, just made a deck fully of epics, and uh, I'm gonna try and actually make this work. Have no idea if it's gonna be decent or not, but we do have some decent cards in here. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to try this deck out. So I'll just go for the Dark Prince in the back. Like most of the people are gonna be thinking, there's just no chance I'm running expo. So maybe we can try and catch him off guard. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this ends up going. Just gonna cycle the Barbarrel on the left, I guess try and figure out what this guy's using oh he's probably playing rg if he has the fisherman and the tombstone um i'll just cycle the bowler in the back and as you can see my hand right now a little bit awkward um but let's see i guess i could just go ahead and let that bowler die on the right side and go for the xe back left um he still probably is really confused on what's happening so bowler's gonna take care of those zap of uh, that one zappy on the right and then he's still gonna have to respond to that so i might actually go expo with this executioner on the left yeah i'm definitely gonna do it now and then i'm gonna go guards predict just in case i can catch anything um yeah there's the rg had a feeling he was playing it i'm actually gonna go barbell on zero i know it's pretty aggressive but might end up being worth it he's gonna have to defend and i know he has like no elixir right now um i have enough for a tornado if he pops the skelly king ability which he does we can pull all the skeletons off and i think we got the better of the trade yeah we definitely did um the problem though with this matchup is that i don't really have a building to stop when he plays the evolution rg at the bridge if he does that like right now i'm pretty much dead so let's just go ahead and hope he doesn't um i don't know what to do here i guess i could just cycle a mm, i'll go for the bowler in the back he's probably gonna go rg but i think i can be okay if i just go dark prince guards like right away um we'll see now nah, he's gonna set up with zappy so we're fine i'm just gonna actually drop xe in back right there's the rg we can go ahead and get the dark prince down i'm um, one more card off of my tornado um okay what do i do here i think i'm just gonna ignore that rg take a lot of damage but i'm gonna try and break through with this expo can go for the barbarrel as well he's probably gonna pop the tornado uh, pop the what's it called skeleton king ability yeah he is so i'll go for the tornado on top of that fisherman is going to get wrecked by these guards as well and we might get a connection on tower let's go this deck <laughs> it's just too easy i'm actually gonna go for the lightning on zero to make sure i take this tower that was probably a bit too aggressive oh boy okay Wait, I need to not lose this tower. I need to get back to a tornado for sure. Yeah, he's going to Fisherman. We need to NATO this back on zero, please. No more, no more. Okay. I don't think he can Fireball Cycle me in 14 seconds. He's going to go for the Mother Witch. Honestly, I'm going to go spam Defensive Expo on zero. I know it's a uh, kind of a weird play, but I don't have another building. And as long as I can stall enough to where he doesn't get anything to my tower, I think we win. We do. Um, we win the first game against Royal Giant with this absolute monstrosity of a deck uh really really close but we ended up uh, saving that tower let's go all right next match here against i'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name because i'm gonna get flamed in the comments um i'm just gonna hit him with the uh goaded emote right here that bowler emote so underrated with the candy cane i think they released it this christmas um i need to do the emote collection i need to do that um honestly i keep forgetting about it maybe i'll do it at the end of this video if not hopefully the next one if i can remember um okay so just gonna go ahead and cycle barbell on the right side try and predict something we do get the skellies he's forced to go for the mighty miner up um, on top of that barb and the xe i'll just split the guards this matchup is definitely not looking too great uh, mighty miner is a really really good counter to this deck since i don't have a reset or anything i mean i have lightning but that doesn't really do anything against the mighty wait did he just lag uh i think he lagged because he just placed like five things at once we'll just get the king tower activated oh that was almost too late and we're also not going to get the king tower activated i'm going to go for prediction barbara on top of skellies in the middle uh, we do hit the prediction okay we can maybe get a connection here with the dark prince no he's going to log on zero and somehow we get no damage out of that um great okay so this matchup is going to be very very difficult Hopefully, I'm able to defend these hogs without taking too much damage. It's really hard to defend a hog without a building. Um, even though I do have Tornado, he just outcycles me. So there's the hog. Even though I have Bowler as well, it's still going to be like nearly impossible to prevent all the hog damage. No way. Oh, that's exactly what I mean right there. Just like 1 HP and gets the hit. Um, Mighty Miner is at a cycle though, so I am going to go aggressive with a Dark Prince. And at least he doesn't have firecracker and has musketeer even though it's still still definitely an annoying card um, i'd rather prefer to face the musketeer than the firecracker and i think anyone would um okay not a great showing from the bowler there kind of just rolled two different uh rocks on top of two skeletons and that's all it did like kind of worthless right there but you know, we got decent value on defense so i guess we can't hate on it too much i don't know bowler is a very like 
hard card to use right, I think. So I'm just going to split the guards and then go for the bowler on top of the mortar right away. This could be a little bit of trouble on this right lane. Um, he, do has to, he does have to defend on the left, though, so we might be all right. I'll just go for the Dark Prince up high. NATO this hog the king. There's the evolution mortar. Um, we'll go for Xe on zero here. Hopefully it takes out all of this. Oh, really bad musketeer on his end. How is my Xe? No way. How did it retarget on top of the ice spear? That was really weird. At least we prevent the mortar from getting any damage, though. Um, I'll just go for the expo on the left lane, then go for guards right away. Dang, I was trying to predict him hogging on top of that. Wait, he just earthquake nothing. This guy is playing terribly. All right, I'll go for the bowler just in case he hogs and then NATO this mighty miner right away. I know it's aggressive, but I need the damage. Um, he's not back to earthquake yet either, so he's gonna have to cycle like three cards to even get back if he wants to play it. He's gonna earthquake on the when the expo is like maybe 5% health, probably less. I'll go for the barbarrel on the left side and guards on top of this hog. I knew he, or I had a feeling he would go for the hog. That's why I put the barbarrel down first right there. And I'm just gonna go offensive bow again. Hog almost got another swing somehow. That's ridiculous. Um, he's wasting the mortar. I can get the bowler down, right? To tank the shot. Oh, that's huge. Pretty sure we get a connection here. Yeah, we do. Just gonna spam dark prince. Okay, kind of a waste of a dark prince, but I thought maybe um, you get something down in time to protect for the expo. 600 HP. Oh, the bowler rolled again. How did the bowler even hit the tower from that angle? I don't even know. I guess bowler might just be the best card to pair with expo Loki. Found a match against Ahmed here. I've definitely played this guy before. I think he plays hog cycle. Could be wrong, um, but it might be 2.6 if I remember correctly. Gotta hit him with the uh, classic bowler candy cane emotes. He's gonna say good luck. Okay. Um, not sure how this matchup's gonna go. Honestly, I don't know anything about this deck to the point, like, of matchups, because I've obviously been playing it for, like, three games at this point. Um, so we're just gonna get the King Tower activation and then Barbaro on top of the Skellies. Pretty clean defense right there to start off the game. He's probably still a little bit confused as to what's happening since I haven't shown my hand too much. Um, I guess we'll just Dark Prince in the back. He definitely doesn't know I have Lightning, so maybe I can try and use that to my advantage. Um... Okay, the Ice Spirit does jump. I can actually just Lightning this Ice Golem and the Musketeer in the tower. I'd say that's pretty good value to start off the game and kind of uh, gonna force him to go for a, a Hog on offense, probably. Yeah, there it is. Pretty predictable play by him right there. Um, still gonna get a hit, even though I literally had the guards hovered, which is pretty annoying. Um, what can I do, though? Nothing, really. So he is gonna have to respond to the guards. If he does something too drastic, I'm just gonna go... Honestly, I'm just gonna go Expo in the right lane on zero, and then... Not on zero, but, like... At the bridge and then go barbaril on um to support it i'm honestly gonna go dark prince on zero as well to just protect the bridge here there's the hog okay so hopefully my dark prince can do something um doesn't look like it honestly he's still gonna have to respond to it though i could i don't know i, I want to go something at the bridge other lane but what am i supposed to do a bowler at the river can just get countered by one elixir skellies so probably not the smartest idea though he did just use the skellies nah i'm not gonna do it that would be I'm sure he can defend that very easily. <laughs> he probably just kite it back with a hog or something. I'll go for the bowler in the back here. Mute up and try and focus because I don't want to lose this game. I actually want to uh, have a good win rate with this deck. So let's see what he's going to do now that we're in double. Probably going to musketeer, but he does know that I have lightning. So he's got to be a little bit more cautious. There's the hog in the opposite lane. We'll take one hit again, which is pretty much, um, I mean, unstoppable at this point. So I'll go for the expo up high with this Xe. Bowler should take care of the cannon and I can log, not log Barbaro on top of those evolved Lairies. I'll just go ahead and nato this Hog Raider to King as well. We can Bowler in the middle to actually snipe both cannons, which is gonna be very, very helpful, I think. He's gonna have to Ice Golem right into a Bowler and an Expo. So right now we kind of have him in a decent situation. Um, it's still really not gonna matter, is it? Yeah, he can just defend it really easily. I think we're up a decent bit of Elixir though. Hopefully he goes Hog in the right. I'm gonna predict it with a Dark Prince. Um, nah, he's not going to. So I'm actually going to go Expo in the left lane and then Barbaral right away on top of this cannon so the Dark Prince does not go um, towards it. Ice Golem's a little bit early. Wait, we get the connection. He doesn't have a way to reset, so he's going to have to Fireball and then probably Log as well. Yeah, um, I'm going to spam... Uh, I'm going to go just Lightning on top of whatever he plays depending on what he's doing. He's kind of panicking, so I'm just going to guard the river. I want to have a lightning. There it is. We can lightning the cannon right away. Even though I know it's like a minus three trade, we get the tower damage and put him in a situation where he has to keep defending when he's down elixir. Look at the guards. They're on tower. We'll pull the ice golem in with the bowler and just like that, one push, one tower down. I mean, that was absolutely insane. A bowler tornado combination for the win. Let's go. 
We're up against a Jackie here. He's going to hit us with the good luck. Let's see. Starting and Honestly, this deck kind of looks like... I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It feels like four different archetypes in one. It's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a masterpiece, if you ask me. I'll go for the guards on top of his miner here. See what he wants to do. Um, bats might get to my tower. Yeah, they're going to get a couple hundred damage. But you know what? We just need one big push with the bowler and the expo and all that stuff together. And we can potentially overwhelm anybody. So he's going to go mortar. Um, just going to go Axie. Could have played the Dark Prince on top of that, but it might have been... Actually, I do have an idea. I'm just going to spam Dark Prince on the left side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy is crazy. Oh, he's bats. <laughs> this is the problem with not having like an E-Spirit or something to just clean that up or any kind of a uh, cheap air unit is that you cannot kill the, um, the bats. I am going to have to tornado this. We do get a lot of damage, though. We still pretty much are even in this game, even though... Um, he kind of overcommitted at the bridge, and we got like a really, really valuable Barbaro. We still weren't able to punish him that hard because the bats were just too clutch. Uh, I think he was dead if I had anything for the air right there, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to have to move on and try and probably get an expo connection at some point in this game. He's really... Wow, okay, we're going to go XE on top of that cannon card because it is going to splash the mortar as well. And he really does not want this mortar to die for some reason. I don't know why he's protecting it so hard. Um... Hopefully he doesn't have minion horde because I don't really have anything to counter it at the moment. My only counter is Axies is are Axie and Tornado, and I don't have either one of those anywhere close to my next card. Um, so I'll probably just once again, eh, I'll go Dark Prince on top of the Spear Goblins. I guess not a positive trade, but I guess you'll have to respond. There's the bats. Here comes the miner. I'm guessing I'm just gonna pre Bar Barrel. Um, no, he's not gonna play it. So. Maybe he saw the Barbaro and got scared or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and defensive bow in the middle outside of fireball range because I feel like that's his spell. I'll have the guards ready as well for his miner. There it is. Uh, good snowball by him. Actually, it's going to push off the miner. Um, like push off the guards from the miner and then the miner will walk on my expo, which is what I didn't want to happen. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to cycle. Oh, that's really bad timing. We're going to have to go XE really low, which is not the greatest idea ever, but... I'll just go Barbaro on top of this cannon cart. It is going to die at the river here. I still am not able to get any damage on top of this mortar. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I guess I have to go for a second bowler. Just kind of, um... I don't know. I, I can't kill this mortar. It's just sitting there forever. Hopefully the bowler can, like, tank long enough to kill it. At least these cannon carts at the bridge are a big problem right now. I need, like, a just a small spell to take them all out. That would be very, very nice. I'm going to go for the Barbaro on top of that cannon cart. Get the Axie down low, and of course he's going to keep spamming the mortars at the river. Um, I need to go boulder on zero. That's going to connect to my tower. Actually, no, it's not, because that boulder placement is perfect. He goes for another cannon card at the river. This guy, man. I'll go for the guards up high. We are going to catch the miner. Never mind, we're not. Um, so this isn't looking too great. I'm not going to lie. He's just spamming mortars every five seconds. I can't really do much at the moment. Uh, we can get the barbaro down on top of that cannon card though um go for another xe please just relax dude uh, i need him to stop spamming and kind of reset the cycle that's my only chance of um winning this game so i'll just drop a bowler in the back kind of just play things slow yes perfect he plays a minor right into the bowler okay we'll take the lightning and just reset he plays a really aggressive snowball there as well um oh wow he's playing a lot of elixir for no reason into a bowler not too sure what he's thinking but i'll just go ahead and drop the expo on the left lane Oh my gosh, that shot so fast. It was literally dying, like dying when it shot, but it still got it off. Um, let's see, there's, I could activate King, but is there a point at this point? I don't think there is. Barb's gonna get the tower for two swings. That's actually very, very huge. And then he gives me another lightning. Wait, we're gonna have to go for like the lightning cycle, I'm pretty sure. Expo on the left though, because that mortar is out of range. I don't think he realizes it. And he just used his cannon card, which is his best response to my expo um i'll go for barbaro on zero please do not let that cannon card get to my tower um we can just lightning that again he's playing the worst mortars i've ever seen he's giving me perfect lightnings and this deck's just too op you can't stop the mo the uh, expo lightning combination anyways thanks for watching the video y'all and we'll see y'all in the next one peace